Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. Welcome to the third part of What Are Banshee Masks? This time we're going to be talking about the Crone Goddess. The Banshee is a harbinger of woe in Eldar mythology, whose cry is said to herald such ill fate that it can even wrench a soul from its spirit stone. Not just from its body, its spirit stone. It is fitting that the most feared of all the aspect warriors, the howling banshees, draw their information, their inspiration from this unearthly creature. Ha ha, ha ha, you hear that, you hear it, the argument is done. I'm sorry people, all Eldar players, they have declared that the Howling Banshees are the most feared of all Eldar Aspect Warriors. There you go. In Eldar myth, the Crone Goddess, Morai Heg, sought to partake of the wisdom contained in her divine blood, knowing there was only one with the power to harm a god, she sent her daughters to haunt their father Cain's steps with their piercing screams. The infernal noise drove Cain into a bloody rage that saw his mind begin to unravel. Promising an end to this curse, the crone goddess bade Cain cut off her hand that she might drink deep of her own veins. With this deed, Morai Heg gained the knowledge of blood, and the aspect of the Banshee was granted to Cain in return. There you go. You got it. That is the full myth of what is a banshee mask. So apparently, the if you want to know, oh, I understand. What they're explaining there is that most of the aspect warriors, in fact, all of the aspect warriors, are really tied into Eldar mythology. The shining spears, even, you know, which is the thunderbolt strike of Cain's spear. They're all tied into mythology, except for really two, uh, and that was the warp spiders and the banshees. So now they're explaining that the Banshees are actually representatives of the Crone Goddess, Morai Heg. That's who they are, um, instead of Cain in this matter. So their, their temples are not dedicated to Cain. They are not, I'm sorry, fantasy battle players, they are not, I repeat, witch elves. They are not daughters of Cain. They are, or, or the fantasy battle counterparts of this that many people compare the, uh, the Howling Banshees to. They're not. They are Morai Heg, the crone goddess, no connection to Cain at all. There you have it. Straight from the source. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, bye.